Welcome back to another episode of the Casey Campbell podcast. Casey Campbell with you, of course. Pleased to be joined by Parker Chase, who will drive the number 51 Toyota for Kyle Busch Motorsports at Coda this weekend in the NASCAR Camping World Truck Series. And of course, who runs in the IMSA Michelin Pilot Challenge uh, and will also run five races for Venturini Motorsports this year, too. How's it going? It's going good. It's been quite busy and, you know, the season's just getting started. So uh, headed to Dakota this weekend and uh, looking forward to it. This is your home track. You only live about 45 minutes away from this place. So obviously you're going in um, with a with a big advantage. You have a ton of experience at that place. And I'm sure that does help, right? Yeah, I've raced there six or seven times. And last time I was out there and uh, I guess it was – August um, for the SRO uh, GT4 championship came home with a win. So it's good. And uh, I know that place really well. And I think I know it pretty much better than anybody else that's going to be running there besides maybe some of the guys in Xfinity, but um, yeah, looking forward to it. It's going to be fun. So kind of going into, you have a ton of road course experience. So and I'm sure that, you know, John Hunter and Chandler have gone to you and probably everybody else at Toyota have gone to you for advice. How, who's asked you for advice to run at this place? Um, I mean, not really that that much. Um, I was kind of expecting Chandler to at least ask a few more questions, but I, I suspect come Friday morning before practice, he's going to be, you know, talking my ear off, asking everything. But um, yeah, I mean, John Hunter's going to be fast. He's always fast. Yeah, obviously. So he's obviously going to be a threat, and then I think a lot of the guys are still going to be pretty fast um you know obviously I have a lot of experience so I I think people are going to be asking questions but you know then again this is their territory in the stock car world so they know they know the, the trucks more than I, I do so I'm still going to be asking them questions that's true and it does help that you have a practice session uh something that you didn't have at the Daytona road course earlier this year that you're going to have practice and qualifying, which the qualifying is going to be intense. Um, of course, you're good. You don't have to worry about going home, but uh, it's um, – what's it going to be – what's it going, what's practice and qualifying going to be like? Well, I mean, I've been looking at the weather, and it looks like it's going to rain every single day pretty hard. So um, I think that's going to shake things up quite a bit, obviously. But, uh, you know, it rained at Daytona, and we went from 22nd to 7th and – like seven laps when it was raining. So the rain kind of excites me. I've always liked the rain. Um, but having practice and qualifying, that's definitely key. You know, I wish we had a little bit of Daytona because it would have helped quite a bit, obviously, because I'd never driven a truck or anything. So uh, going in here and obviously having tr truck experience in the one Daytona road course race helps. But, you know, having practice and better dial in the, the truck versus just rolling off and hoping that it's good, you know what I mean? And uh, having qualifying, hopefully we can qualify up front um we started mid-pack at daytona which i think kind of hurt us a little bit but uh yeah hopefully we can get a good qualifying run in and you know start somewhere in the top 10. so talk about the imza program that you're doing you kind of remind everybody what that what that deal is because i know you've been doing pretty well in uh in the michelin pilot challenge yeah so we just came off a win at mid ohio on saturday Congrats. i mean it's a brand new car the elantra and tcr um the first two races were quite rough for us, so to have a, a win in that this past weekend, you know, really feels good just because we've had a ninth place finish and like a tenth place finish. So uh, that that feels good, and um, you know, it's a good program. Brad Herta does a great job putting on, you know, one of the the best teams in the field, I think. And um, you know, Hyundai supports us a lot, so that's been fun. And uh, still got quite a few more races left in that championship, and we're sitting fourth now. I think the next, I am not sure when the next race is for you guys there. Where, is it Watkins Glen, if I'm not mistaken? It's Watkins Glen at the end of June. Right. And then we have two races there because we were supposed to run in most sport, but obviously that got canceled. So they just moved it to a second race at Watkins Glen on uh, 4th of July weekend. Right. So I know that there was also another deal that was announced earlier. You're going to do some oval racing, something that you don't have a lot of experience of. You're going to be running about five races for Venturini Motorsports um, in the Argo Menard Series starting next week at Charlotte. What made you decide you want to run ovals? 
Uh, I mean, stock cars have always kind of been of interest to me. Uh, first time driving anything with suspension, it was actually a Legends car in a little, like, I think it was a quarter mile or something like that. Pretty small place. So uh, I initially out of karting, that was something that I was interested in and then kind of faded. And after running those, that one ARCA race last year at the Daytona Road Course and then the one truck race, you know, kind of made me want to try more of it. And so obviously I'm not going to go jump in a truck and against 40 something people and do a noble. So uh, get some experience in ARCA, you know, we're running Charlotte next weekend, Winchester, uh, Phoenix, Kansas, and Bristol, I think. So we got five pretty cool places to uh, go out and do some oval racing. Um, you know, we tested that Charlotte last Monday evening and uh, I think we had good speed. Uh, the weather kind of shut it down early, but uh, we learned a lot in the, I think I did 50 something laps and Drew and Corey did like 25 a piece. So uh, I did just about double the lap, amount of laps that they did. So I was just out there learning as much as I could, but I'm ready for it. It's going to be fun. So you know, I know the, you know, you could go anywhere with with your motorsports career. I know that, you know, on the IMSA side, you've been pretty successful. Is the goal IMSA, the goal NASCAR, where do you want to end up? Or do you just want to do a bunch of everything? Uh, I just kind of seeing where they both take me, you know, um, yeah. you know, have more options, right? Yeah. So the, the sports car stuff's been good. Um, you know, we've been successful with the Hyundai stuff this year and last year. And uh, it's fun. I enjoy it. I really like it. But then again, I also really enjoy the stock car stuff too. So, you know, it's kind of just seeing where they both take me. Um, I don't know what I plan on doing next year. If I plan on doing both again or all stock cars or all sports cars or who knows, we'll just see what happens towards the middle to end of this year and uh, you know, kind of just see what happens. So kind of going into this weekend at Coda, I know that the weather is going to be a factor. There's about 20 turns in – Coda's an interesting place. No one's ever been there besides, I think, you and I think Lawless Allen's been there. And I know a couple other drivers have had the chance to test there. Mm -hmm. um, you know, there's about going to be about three spotters that you're going to have. There could be some blind corners that you might have to deal with. Um, and possibly weather's going to be a factor as well. How challenging is this race going to be, you think? Um, it's going to be interesting for sure. I think even if the rain holds off, it's still going to be hot, extremely hot, you know, central Texas in the beginning, middle of summer is never enjoyable. So, uh, that, I think that's going to have a quite a big effect on, you know, tire wear and whatnot. I feel that if it's dry, the tires are going to fall off massively. Um, cause you have quite a bit of high speed stuff for the S's and whatnot. So, uh, that's really going to eat up the tires and, you know, make it for whoever can, keep the tires underneath them the longest, you know, we'll have the best shot, but um, it's going to be fun. And, you know, if it rains, it's going to also be interesting. How uh, <laughs> many people know this place, like I said earlier. So um, going in there and knowing it helps me quite a bit. You know, I think straight from first lap practice one, um, obviously going to have an advantage. And uh, yeah, it's, it's going to be fun. All right. Well, Parker Chase, good luck this weekend at Coda. And um, uh, good luck in uh, the Arkham. We'll see you in the Arkham Menard Series next week at Charlotte. Yes, sir. Thank you.